Speed ramps are a great way to spice up your footage. We'll show you how they're done in this CineD DaVinci Resolve quick tip. CineD, your digital cinema tech resource, supported by B&H and CVP. Hello, Alex from CineD here. With speed ramps, you can slow down or speed up certain parts of your videos to draw attention to them. How is it done? Let's jump right into it. Here I have my project open with a clip of a skateboarder doing a trick. I want to draw attention to the trick that he's doing by slowing down the footage while he's doing the trick. How do I do this? I right click on the clip and open up the Retime Controls. As you can see, I've got some new features here opened up for me. To Tell DaVinci Resolve when I want it to slow down and speed up, I get to a certain point, like here where he lifts off, and I add a speed point down here. Also, I'm going to add another one while he lands, the black triangle here, add another speed point. Now you can see when I grab the handle up here and I move it around, that the speed here changes. If I move it to the left, it speeds up. And if I move it to the right, it will slow down. So I'm going to move it to the right until I get to about here. And now, once we get into the trick, it slows down. So we have normal speed, slower speed, and normal speed again. But the changes between the speeds are pretty abrupt. Yeah, so we have 400% here. Then it changes from one frame to another to 100. And then from one frame to another back to 400. How do we make the ramp now? To do the ramp, we have to right click again and choose Retime Curve. Now, there used to be a little trap in here in older versions of DaVinci Resolve. Here, Retime Speed was not set, but Retime Frame. So you had to change it here in this drop down menu to Retime Speed. In newer versions, ever since version 18.1, Retime Speed is already set. Here, we see the curve of our changes. But, or it's not a curve at the moment, we have to change it to a curve. I select the point here and click here to turn this into a curve. I also have handles here to change the shape of the curve, but now we can see that it is more of a ramp. We have a slow ramp up and ramp down of the speed and have drawn a greater attention to the trick that our skateboarder is doing. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? And a great way to bring your footage alive. For more courses on DaVinci Resolve, check out mz.com and have fun in your future projects. Bye.